animation, what makes it unique is that it's sculpting in time, essentially. You're, you're, you're taking time and making something evolve and change over it. Animation that inspires me is magic. Something that shouldn't be coming to life and moving on its own is now walking, moving, dancing. It's alive. Stop motion animation is stitching a series of photographs together, one frame at a time, which usually equates to like 24 frames in a second. So that's 24 photographs to make up one second of animation. In between each of those frames, there are small micro movements to where when you play them back together, it looks like they're moving on their own. I do think that even just with animation in general, most people associate that with uh, children's programming. That's what I find really interesting is that unexpected element of, well, you can tell richer, more complex stories. Paper Brain is my animation company. Even though the focus is actually paper-based animation, it's really, it's about handcrafted, handmade animation. My wife is a big part of Paper Brain too. You know, I'm very lucky to have a creative family. Probably the biggest source of inspiration when I'm telling these stories is stuff that comes from the mouths and the minds of my kids. They're at that young, raw age where they're so just connected to their imagination that I'm just constantly amazed with the stories they come up with. On one of my recent short films, uh, my son basically point blank told me, this needs dinosaurs in it. And it is a storyline that has nothing to do with dinosaurs. So I was like, you know, you're right. Let's put a dinosaur in this thing. And that ended up kind of shaping the end of the way the narrative came about in that story. And yeah, he loved it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. To create a paper film, all you need is paper and some sort of device that can take photographs. I have a camera that's connected to a computer system. I want to be able to see the frames that I just photographed to make sure that the timing of the movements when they're played back in real time match up and make sense. I have a multiplane down shooter which is something that allows me to set my camera to different heights. And then I have glass panes beneath it where I can place my paper uh, creations, whether they're 2D or 3D. So the 3D paper animations, that's kind of the place where I get to just let intuition kind of take over. And that's probably my favorite way to explore the craft. There was a music video. I did uh, Anything Made of Paper by the musician Bill Carter. I think just that contrast of telling a story that has such a deep, heavy message with something that looks childlike, is it's just an interesting combination. puts you in a different space when you're viewing it. When I come to see you, what will I bring? I want to see how it turns out. And I think that's the biggest thing that keeps me so excited all the time about what I'm doing is I always want to see how's this going to look after the fact. I want to see the finished thing. So every little scissor cut and every little micro movement I make, it's all a part of that excitement for that goal as to see how is this film going to look in the end. That's all.